Welcome to Year 12 Health and Social Care. In this induction lesson, we'll take a look at some of the topics you'll study in Year 12, and also I'll give you some information generally about the course. One of the first units you will study is development through the life stages. If you've studied health and social care before, you may have some knowledge of this unit, but we'll be taking it up a level and we'll be looking at development from birth, from babies and what they can do, all the way through to what happens to people as they reach the later stages of life. There are four areas of development and we refer to these as PIES. This stands for physical, intellectual, emotional and social development. Physical development occurs very rapidly in babies. From being born and being able to do very little, they can very quickly raise their heads learn to sit by six months, some babies crawl at around about nine months, and then walking around about 12 months to 13 months. So quite a lot of physical development occurs in young children. Puberty and adolescence and in older people, uh, the physical changes of aging can be the lines, the wrinkles, the hair colour, and illnesses that older people start to develop. Intellectual development then is how we learn things. Young children again go through an incredible period of learning when they begin to learn to talk and then they go to school and they start to develop new knowledge and new ideas. Emotional development affects all age groups and it's very much linked to babies and attachment and to the stresses and strains of life and the impact this has on us at all stages of development. And then finally, social development and the need for us to socialise and to socialise within families and within friends and the impact this has on us. In this unit also, we'll be taking a look at things like predictable and unpredictable life events. Predictable things, starting school, going to secondary school, having a job, going to university, getting married, having babies, all these sorts of things are predictable life events. Unpredictable life events, however, are things such as accidents, divorce, unexpected things which occur to us, redundancy, losing our jobs, and we very much be looking at the impact that both predictable and unpredictable life events can have on our health and well-being. This is an example of the type of task you might be asked to do in a lesson based around predictable and unpredictable life events. And you will also be looking at things such as the effects of ageing on the individual. Look at the amazing Dion Warwick and how she looked when she was a young person and how she looks in old age. She looks fantastic, but not everyone is able to continue to maintain and to have the sort of lifestyle that she has had. So the physical effects of ageing are the things that you can see and the illnesses, like I mentioned earlier, which all people tend to develop as they get older. But what about the psychological impact of ageing too? These days we live in a world where it's very important for some people to look young and to continue to maintain a youthful lifestyle. However, not everyone is able to cope with that. So psychologically, as we get older, this can have an impact on your health and well-being and this is a really interesting part of the unit which we'll be exploring round about Christmas time and shortly into January. Another topic we will explore is ethical principles and in this unit we'll be looking at the decisions that health professionals have to make sometimes in deciding whether to allow treatment to continue or not or how to spend money if they have a budget and they have two cases but only enough money to treat one. So ethical principles in health and social care is very important. Charlie Gard was a very very much publicised case which was in the newspapers um, a couple of years ago. If you want to research it the link is on the bottom of the slide but this will give you an insight 
into the sorts of decisions that health and social care professionals have to make and the parents don't always agree with the decisions that the doctors make and this was a very sad case so if you want to research it you can but the story does have a happy ending because Charlie God's parents did go on to have another baby so read this case and it will give you an insight into ethical principles. Another very important aspect of working within the health and social care sector is to promote equality, diversity and to recognise the rights and needs of individuals within the health and social care sector. The next few slides highlight the importance of recognising diversity and difference and it's essential for a career in a health and social care environment that you are familiar with these and we will be teaching you the importance of recognising equality and diversity and the impact this can have on an individual's health and well-being. The next few slides highlight the importance of recognising diversity and difference and it's essential for a career in a health and social care environment that you are familiar with these and we will be teaching you the importance of recognising equality and diversity and the impact this can have on an individual's health and well-being. The next few slides highlight the importance the following of slides will give you more information and about the structure of the qualification and essential and for you career will have in health and social care environments one in that you are familiar with these and, one exam and we will be teaching you and the importance same with the coursework of recognizing one unit of course and diversity in year 12, and the and impact you this can have on an individuals in year 13. And external assessment Contributes the next few slides highlight of the importance of recognising diversity and difference and it's essential for a career in a health and social care environment that you are familiar with these and we will be teaching you the importance of recognising equality and diversity and the impact this can have on an individual's health and well-being. The next few slides highlight the importance of recognising diversity and difference and it's essential for a career in a health and social care environment that you are familiar with these and we will be teaching you the importance of recognising equality and diversity and the impact this can have on an individual's And finally and this well is your summer homework task. And we are asking you to read the next few slides highlight the importance of the recognizing area. diversity and difference. health services then we're going to it's essential to do with for your career in health and social nurses, care environment paramedics, that you are familiar with these, care assistance and we will be teaching social care services the anything to do with the role of caring quality and social work that and the impact care this can have so on take a look into the services well that are provided in the local area for different types of the next few slides children, highlight the elderly importance people, of and research the roles, the and responsibilities and, and qualifications it's essential for in relation to the social care environment. You've been asked to you are familiar create with a presentation these, and, and we will be teaching you, you the, the importance of that recognising equality and, and diversity.